All right, here we are. This is John Oaks coming to you from Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today here on the lift, we have our newest addition to our inventory. And this is a 1966 Pontiac GTO triple black. That means black exterior, black interior, and black top. And that's a black convertible top. So uh, again, real nice car here, convertible. So again, something you can take out and enjoy in the summertime, put the top down and just cruise and have fun in this car. Um, as we do with all of our cars, we've got it on a lift here today for you. We're gonna go through the underside of the car, show you exactly what it looks like under here, and then we'll get it down off the lift, go around the outside and inside the car and show you the overall condition of this car. Um, so here we are underneath the car standing underneath the back end of it. So again, we have a uh, stock fuel tank here um, All the mounting hardware the straps you can see those are in good condition all the bolts and hardware in excellent condition on this car You can see the rear frame rails on either side of the car. They are in excellent condition as well You can see most of the bolts and everything are really nice and practically new on this car also um, dual exhaust as you can see here exiting out the rear of the car with tailpipes it's got these chrome exhaust tips on it too got all the necessary exhaust clamps and mounts uh, throughout uh, the underside of the car here um, some of which uh, some of the connections are welded on the car so again uh, nothing bad about that it makes for a good sturdy exhaust um, and a good looking exhaust underneath here too um, as far as our rear, um, the rear gear here, driving gear, braking gear, stuff like that across the rear end, we'll just kind of talk yourself through the, the car across here. And we've got uh, 235 6015 uh, tires here. Um, now these are mounted on a set of 15 inch wheels. They're polished uh, aluminum, five spoke design wheel with Hurst center caps. Now I'll be completely honest with you, I'm not sure if Hearst made a wheel or not. Um, it appears as though they probably did. But again, um, without actually knowing that for sure, I don't want to say that as a positive. I just know they've got the Hearst center cap on them. Um, inside here for braking, we do have disc brakes. So this car has all four wheel disc brakes. They are solid rotors. They're veined though, or vented um, to help with cooling. And again, it's all GM components. So again, replacement of parts, very easy. You can go to any auto parts store and find components for these cars. Rear suspension, it's got um, newer looking KYB gas shocks here. Um, it does have a rear sway bar on it. Um, your lower uh, and upper control arms on the rear here, they all are in good shape, nice and straight. It's just your factory stamped steel components. And it looks as though all of the bushings have been replaced in these uh, fairly soon. Um, they're not, they still have the gold color on the sleeves and everything. So again, those are all in excellent shape. So it's gonna keep that rear suspension nice and tight in this car. Um, now, as far as the rear end itself goes, this is a GM 10 bolt rear. It is a small 10, it's the 8.2 inch ring gear here. And it's a limited slip differential. Uh, and it's got the tag right here to use limited slip fluid only in the car. Uh, brake lines across uh, the rear end, and of course the brake hoses out at the ends there going to each caliper. Those are all in good shape as well. Um, now as far as the exhaust, we have dual exhaust run the whole way up through. Uh, it's got like a turbo style muffler on it. Um, so that's about all I can tell you from underneath the back end. All right, now underneath the center of our 66 GTO convertible here, um, you can see uh, a lot better now the condition of the floors here as we stand here talking about them. Floors are excellent condition on this car, all solid, there's no patching uh, to speak of. The only place that you see anything to that extent would be right in the transmission tunnel here, and it's only because they've replaced the transmission. So let's talk about that real quick for a minute. We have this new unit here. It's a Tremec five-speed transmission, all aluminum case, aluminum bell housing. Again, a, a very good aftermarket five-speed transmission here. So you would not be disappointed with this. Nice short throw shifts, 
nice crisp shifts out of a transmission like this. Um, and again, the transmission cross member just is in good a shape as what you could expect for an old car. All new bolts, um, all new mount back here too to help cushion that tail shaft. So again, all nice uh, transmission here. Um, as far as the frame rails go on either side, again, a GTO obviously is a full frame rail car, even more important on a convertible. Um, but you can see the frame rails on this car, both sides, good and solid, nice and straight, as, as perfect as you could ask for on a car like this. Um, it appears, looking at brake lines on this car and fuel line up the frame rail here, most of that has been replaced with all new stuff. Um, so again, it's mounted up next to the frame rail as it should. It's got that spiral wound, uh, not sure what you exactly want to call it, but around any place where it's got a sharper bend, it helps protect that line from kinking. Um, so they have that everywhere that it's necessary. Um, you can see all the bracing across the floors here. It's all intact. Again, like I said, this is all factory stamped steel floors. Uh, and again, no patching. Uh, so all solid underneath here. You can also see the exhaust, how they have it run. We've got the long tube headers up front here. Um, we've got the collector welded uh, here to the exhaust pipe. And then you have your pipe all the way back. But like I said, got your turbo style mufflers here um, hooked up here in your exhaust system. Um, back up to the front here towards the transmission. Again, aluminum bell housing. Um, got the uh, inspection plate here on the bottom of that house. Um, that way you can you know, easily pull that off, inspect the flywheel, make sure that it's in good shape. Uh, and then that's made it up to, um, which we'll get more in depth with as we go under the hood, but it's made it up to a uh, 455 cubic inch uh, Pontiac engine here. Uh, and other things I can kind of see from right here, it's got a small uh, mini high torque starter on the car as well. Um, so that's about it for under the center of the car. All right, now we're here uh, underneath the front end of our 66 GTO convertible. So as we do with all our cars, we're just gonna walk you side to side on this car. So again, as far as rubber goes on the car, we've got 225 60R15s on the front. So you got a little bit of difference there, front to rear, give it a little bit of rake there. Again, still mounted on those same polished aluminum five spoke style wheels with the Hearst center caps. And those wheels are in excellent same shape. We'll show you those once we have it down on the ground. Uh, again, inside of those wheels for braking and stopping power, we've got disc brakes. Again, it's a power brake car, uh, power steering as well. Uh, and again, it's just solid rotor, vein rotor. Um, so it does help with pulling with the veins in there. Uh, and again, it's just all GM components, so you can get these parts at any auto parts store. Uh, as far as suspension on the front end of this car, we've got all stock components, uh, stamped steel upper and lower control arms on the car, um, your tie rods, those are all in good shape, drag link, it's in great shape too, all Zerk fittings are where they should be, all uh, the little rubber dust boot covers on all of the ball joints, those are all intact and in good condition. So again, it helps keep that grease in, keep dirt and debris out. So it helps those ball joints last a lot longer. And it does look as though well. it's been maintained over the years. So again, a uh, good testament to you know, whoever had this car before, uh, keeping up with everything. Um, as far as the main cross member in the car, you can see how nice and straight that is. So it's never been hit on anything or banged up. Good solid piece there. Um, I can tell you it's got new brake lines run across the front end of the car too. Um, and those are running around the back side of the cross member here. And again, no sharp bends or kink. Um, they're just run very nicely. Uh, they did have uh, the front sway bar added in here now. Um, and it's got uh, good frame mounts here. Bushings are intact and like new on the car. Sway bar end links and the bushings on that. Those are in excellent condition too on this particular car. Your lower control arms, they do have the uh, rubber bump stop on here too, in case you would ever need that. Uh, it's there to protect the car from bottoming out or cushion it from doing so. Um, so like I said, uh, exhaust also, that's long tube headers, dual exhaust, turbo style muffler, tailpipes out the rear. Uh, we've already been through all of that. 
Um, other things I can see from underneath the front end here, um, again, power steering box uh, itself, that looks to be fairly new too. Um, we've got that Pontiac motor, again, that's a 455 cubic inch Pontiac uh, power plant uh, that's in there. Um, uh, as far as the radiator goes, that looks to be just like your stock style radiator. And then it looks to have a seven blade clutch fan in it for cooling. Um, so that's, that's essentially it on this car. Um, right now we can go ahead and get it down off the lift, take you around the outside. But again, I don't think you'll be disappointed with the, this car. The paint's beautiful on it, interior's beautiful, the top, same way. Um, so we'll just take you around it, show you what we have, and then you can give us a call if you have any questions on it. All right, now we got our 1966 Pontiac GTO convertible here down off of the lift. And this car is beautiful, triple black. So black exterior, black interior, and of course, the black convertible top on this car. Again, the finish, especially on any black car that you come around, uh, it's very hard to hide any imperfections when it comes to paint and bodywork. So when looking at this car, I like to look down both sides of it, front to back, each side, make sure that I don't see any ripples or waves or any deviations and elevations or anything like that as far as the panel fitments go. And on this car, I can honestly say I do not see any of that. Everything looks good, nice and straight down the side. Uh, the paint is just as nice as can be on the car, polished up real nice. So again, black car, this thing is beautiful. So. GTO, again, you got the fenders here, got the bright wheel-lit moldings here the whole way around the car. Uh, we've got, uh, as far as our wheels and tires go, everything's on 15-inch wheels in this car. Now, up front for tires, we've got 225, 60, R15s, and again, those are mounted on those polished 15-inch um, wheels here, and again, I'm not 100% sure if Hearst actually makes a wheel. If they do, then this would be a Hearst wheel. It does have the Hearst center caps though. So again, nice wheels are in great condition on this car. Um, you also see along the bottom here, you've got the, the bright lower body moldings on this car, and those are in excellent shape. Nice and straight, polished up real nice too. And you've got the GTO 6.5 liter badging right here on the back side of the front fender. Now our car also has just the driver's side mirror and I just want to take a quick look here and that is going to be just a manually adjusted mirror so you will have to reach out and adjust it with your hand. Um, as far as the windshield goes, it's in excellent shape. There's no cracks or chips in it. The bright molding around it, that's in excellent shape too. Nicely polished up and bunch of things in it that I can see on there. Wing window, the trim around it, the polish, it's, well, it's polished up, but again, the bright work on it looks to be really good. No pitting whatsoever on any of that. And then you've got your molding along the top edge of the door here, and even back here where the quarter window is, and then it continues around the bottom side of that top. That is all in excellent shape. Now again, as far as panel fitment and alignment, we'll check out our gaps here. So you've got the front gap, and then you've got your back gap here. Again, very uniform, nice and tight, and the elevations are dead on on this door. So, as we do most of the time, we're going to open that up. Just take a quick peek because we're going to go ahead inside later and go more in depth with the interior. But, we have the rubber bump stops both on the top and down on the bottom of the door. That nice black paint continued on the interior of the car. Full door panels, those are in excellent condition. Seat upholstery, the carpeting, the dash, everything. It's an all in really nice condition on this car. Weather stripping up along the top. Looks to be really good on this car too. I don't see any cracks, any tears, or any chunks torn out of it. Weather stripping around the door, same thing. Looks to be fairly new. No cracks, no tears, no chunks torn out of it. So everything should seal up just great on this car. Door closes nice and easy. Again, shows you how well that is adjusted. Now, for our top, this thing is in mint condition here. Again, all black top looks to be uh, fairly new, if not brand new. Um, the, the rear window in the car, it's, it is the plastic window. 
but again, you see no marks at all on this thing. So I don't don't believe that they probably had this top down much. Um, so again, it's probably all new, and they put it on when they were doing the you know the restoration on the car. There. So as we work our way back a little further, again, those wheel whip moldings here, the 15-inch wheels. Now the tires on the back side of this just slightly different in size. We've got a 235-60R15 back here, just to give it a little bit of uh, difference and a little bit of brake front to back on the car. Uh, and then, of course, these big, long quarter panels on the GTOs. Again, hard to hide any kind of imperfection, and there is none on this car. So again, nice black paint, nice and straight down the sides as I'm looking down here. Of course, we've got the GTO emblem back here on the quarter panel. Um, so again, that will bring us to the rear of the car now. Let's come around the back now. We'll take a look at the tail panel, take a look at the trunk fitment. We can look back at a different angle now at the top and that rear plastic window in there. And you can see how good a condition that is uh, once we get back here. All right, here we are now around the back side of our GTO. Um, so again, uh, trunk, big trunk lid on this car. And you can take a look at the fitment on this thing. It is just about as good as what you're going to get on a car like this. As big as these panels are, uh, it's hard to get everything fit perfect, but this thing is darn near it. So again, your gaps the whole way around the trunk, very uniform. Elevations are very good as far as trunk to quarter panel fitment here. Uh, now all of your bright work, your trim work back here, you can see how nicely polished up that all is. Again, that looks to be fairly new, if not new. Um, your tail panel, uh, of course, it's going to be the same color as the car, all black. Got the Pontiac lettering back here for your emblems. Got the GTO badge right up here on the top side of your trunk lid. Uh, big chrome back bumper. This bumper, I believe, is all brand new on this car and nicely, highly polished up here. Um, your tail lights or your backup lights, I should say, down here in the lower, lower section of the bumper. Those are in excellent condition. The bezels around them polished up very nice and the lenses in them are in excellent shape. There's no cracks or chips out of those lenses. Now you can see shooting out the back underneath the bumper is our dual exhaust, those tailpipe extensions, chrome tailpipe extension. So again, it just adds to the bright work back here. Um, now again, I said about that top, convertible top, the window in the back of it is plastic. But you can see from looking at this angle here, there's no marks in that plastic window back there. So again, that top is probably brand new and hasn't been down much, if at all. So let's go ahead and open our trunk and take a look inside. So first thing we notice is the underside of the trunk painted that same black as the outside. Um, the hinges are all done up nice. Uh, the spring that holds the trunk lid up is intact and works great. You can see it is holding the trunk lid up. Your weather stripping around the trunk here, that's all new and in perfect condition. There's no rips or chunks or tears out of any of that. Um, inside the trunk, the whole floor itself is all painted black. Same, same color as the car. Um, now there is a trunk mat in here that looks to be almost new also. We do have the black convertible top parade boot. Um, that goes on the car and goes with it. That we keep it inside the trunk though. We also have a set of Pontiac floor mats here too. We always elect to take those out of the car when we're filming or shooting pictures of just so we can show the good condition of the carpeting. But the floor mats are here. If you wish to put them back in the car, they are available for you. Um, that's pretty much it on the trunk. So we'll reach up here and close it up. Close is nice and easy. And again, everything's nice and flush the whole way around. So with that said, we'll go around now the passenger side and we'll take a trip up along that side end up at the front, and then we'll get you inside the car to look at the interior. Okay, now that we're on the passenger side of our GTO here, we're just gonna walk up along just like we do on the driver's side. Everything obviously all the same over here. Um, so the big long panels, again, as I said, looking from back all the way up to the front, you can look the whole way down the side of this car and see that it is nice and straight the whole way down. 
Obviously, we're going to have our GTO emblem back here on the rear corner panel. We've got that bright lower body molding the whole way up, clear to the front bumper on the car, in excellent shape, nice and straight and polished up to a T. Uh, again, the bright wheel lip moldings, both on the rear and the front. Um, all of your trim work around the windows, around your convertible top, and along the top edges of the door. All in excellent shape, polished up nice, no dents or dings whatsoever on it. And again, from this side here now, you can see how well conditioned this top is. Again, as I said many times before, this looks to be like a brand new top and uh, probably has never been down or not down that much. Um, again, door fitment, panel fitment, the whole way around this car is excellent. Your gaps, both on the back side of your door here, as well as on the front side, you can see how uniform those really are. Elevations are dead on on this car. There's no deviation there whatsoever. If we take a, a look real quick um, at the inside of our doors, um, we got our rubber bump stops, top and bottom. Weather stripping's in excellent condition. Full door panels, those are in excellent condition too. Seat upholstery, carpeting, dash, all of that in excellent condition on this car. Even those door threshold plates. Those are really, really nice on this particular car. Close our door up. It closes nice and easy. Again, nice and flush fit on that door. As we come forward, we've got our antenna up here on the top side of the front fender. This is a power antenna, so you do have power top. You've got power antenna. Um, then, of course, the big front fenders here, the GTO 6.5 liter badging on the back side of the front fender, wheel lip moldings, the 15 inch wheels here with the Hearst center caps, 225 60 15s on the front, 235 60 15s on the back, and that brings us to the front of the car. And now uh, we've made it around to the front of our car, so let's talk real briefly about this. Of course, 66 GTO. It's hard not to be able to identify this car. Again, the GTOs had a very nice you know, look of their own to the front end. So you had the, the stacked headlights here, uh, low beam and high beams on both sides. These are just your traditional sealed beam lights. Um, so again, glass lenses, all Sylvania sealed beam lights. Um, all those lenses are in excellent shape. There's no cracks or chips out of any of those glass lenses. Um, your parking lights up here. Lens covers on those are in excellent shape too, no cracks or chips, and the bezels around those are polished up nice and look very good, um, again, all intact. The grill work on this car, both sides here are in excellent shape, all intact, there's nothing broken out of any of those. Again, these are just plastic pieces, um, but again, they are 100% intact on this car, and of course, you've got the GTO insignia here on the uh, driver's side grill section on the car. Front bumper, big chrome front bumper, polished up real nice on this car. As far as the hood goes, it's an all steel hood. Got your GTO scoop right here in the middle. You've got the Pontiac Arrowhead emblem here on the front edge of the hood too. As far as fitment goes, if you look up the side here of the hood, that side as well as this side, very uniform on both sides. Again, gaps are even and your elevations are really good uh, as far as the hood to front fender goes. Um, now let's go ahead and open our hood up and we'll go over what is in this for a power plant now. So what we have here, uh, it's a non-original motor. It is a YG code. It's a 1971 455 cubic inch Pontiac motor. We've got Pro Air Cleaner and valve covers on this thing. We've got an Edelbrock uh, Performer RPM aluminum intake on it. Uh, we also have, it's a Holly dual feed four barrel carburetor. Um, now looking at this one, it is not an electric choke. Um, so yeah, just manual choke on it. Um, and it's an 850 CFM, I believe, if I ran the numbers correctly on it. We've got power brakes. Again, these are four-wheel disc brakes from when we went over the underside of the car. Power steering as well in this car. Um, other than that, I mean, you've got your typical Pontiac steel heads, Pontiac block here. All the heater lines are hooked up on it. 
You've got a stock style radiator here with a seven blade uh, clutch fan on it, complete with the shroud there to help with the cooling. Just a stock style distributor, a stock style coil, mechanical fuel pump. So again, it's just kind of bare bones, but they have it done up nice. A few little, you know, options under the hood there to help with, you know, some power as far as the uh, carburetor and the intake goes. Um, everything under the hood looks good. It's all black underneath here. Uh, now it's not the shiny black. It's kind of more of a matte black under the hood here. Uh, but again, everything is, you know, still, um, you know, detailed out nicely on the car. Um, so yeah, I don't think uh, don't think you'll have an issue with anything on this car. Everything's in good running order. Um, again, when we were on the underside of the video, not only do you have the 455 Pontiac motor in here, but you've got that Tremec five-speed transmission along with the GM 10 bolt posi rear end in it. So again, drive line's going to be good for you too. So we'll close this hood up and we'll go inside. We'll meet you in there. We'll go through the interior there and see what we have there for you. All right, here we are in the comfort of our 66 Pontiac GTO here. So we're going to take you through the interior now and uh, show you how nice the inside is, just like we did the outside. So again, starting over on the driver's side door there, got full door panels there. Um, the black upholstery on those is in excellent condition. The little bit of trim that's on them, top and bottom, excellent condition. And even the carpeted part of them, those are in excellent shape. Armrests are good condition too. And as you can see over there, we have power windows on this car. So you've got all the controls to operate all four windows, driver, passenger side, and the quarter windows on it, all over there within the touch of a finger um, for your uh, power windows. Now you have the one over here um, on the passenger side door, uh, but that's going to only operate your passenger side window there. Um, as far as the dash goes, this is all factory dash, factory padded section two. Um, that dash pad itself is in excellent condition. There's no cracks or tears in that uh, from heat or sun from over the years. And a matter of fact, it's probably all brand new anyway, so it looks really good here. Now as far as your dash instrument panel goes, you see it's got the wood grain trim in here. And you do have factory instrumentation in this dash as well. So you've got the fuel and the battery gauge, and you've got a 120 mile an hour speedometer, you have an in-dash tachometer, and then you've got the water temperature and oil pressure gauge all right here in the dash. Along with that, you've got your factory heater controls, and then a nice little touch they've done to this car they have upgraded the stereo system in it. Uh, they did put uh, one of the custom auto sound head units in it. So you've got your digital AM, FM uh, radio in here with no modifications to that factory dash. Fits right in the stock mounting location using all the stock holes. Um, you've got an upgraded steering column in this car. It's a chrome tilt wheel. You've got the wood grain wheel or the rosewood wheel here also. Um, with the three bar steering wheel and your Pontiac horn button with the arrowhead right in the middle. Um, now you do have a few aftermarket gauges. So the reason for that being is one of two reasons. Either the, the gauges in the dash may not be real accurate. These ones here are actually, um, you know, more, more of them, your oil pressure and your battery gauge are kind of like a warning light. Um, the other ones have a gauge, but they may not either be accurate or they may not be functioning right now. Sometimes it's hard to get those factory gauges to work. So they will install aftermarket ones. And again, it could be just again because these may be more accurate too. So you've got a water temperature gauge, a volt meter, and an oil pressure gauge mounted down right underneath the radio here under the dash. Now again, this car is a five-speed Tremec transmission. So we've got a Hearst shifter in here, and you've got the correct five-speed shifter ball right here on top of that shift arm. All of the upholstery in this car is in excellent condition. There's no rips or tears in it. Nice black vinyl upholstery here, both front seats and the back seats. Again, all matching Pontiac GTO upholstery on this car. All the seat belts are present in here too. We've got retractable front belts, and then you have all of the belts in the back seat as well. Um, 
Again, we have some GTO badging here uh, and trim on the inside. You got the grab handle here up over top of the glove box here as well. Um, just everything's nice on this car. Even your sun visors here, the upholstery on those is in excellent condition. Uh, both sides, uh, again, I already said it's a power top, power antenna. Your controls are right on the underside of your dash there. And that's really about it. Uh, the carpeting's beautiful. The top on the inside is beautiful, just like the top side. So, uh, again, that's really everything uh, to go over on this car. So, with that said, all we got to do now is uh, get this car uh, fired up for you so you can hear what the motor sounds like. Uh, we will do that here momentarily. But uh, as far as everything else goes, if you have questions or concerns about anything on this car or any other car we have in our inventory, you can give us a call, shoot us an email, or you can visit us on our website at www.hangsters.com.